Whoa! Ubisoft, or Ubisoft, did an oopsie! They accidentally used the wrong imagery in uh, their game trailer, and internet tankies be mad. Ubisoft forced to apologize for Tom Clancy game imagery that suggests BLM is part of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I just watched some uh, some footage from Portland. It didn't exactly look like they were wrong, but I mean, I live 20 minutes north of Kenosha. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, well, it must have been the you know all that peace that burned down that local game shop. Uh, today, Ubisoft announced it will remove raised fist imagery from the opening cinematic of a new mobile game by the way they didn't invent the raised fist images that's been around long before blm that's the dumbest part about this um uh, tom clancy's elite squad following a wide widespread criticism that the game's intro plays on right wing <laughs> oh my god it's not a conspiracy theory look at the footage they literally just, okay, whatever. They just had a summary uh, <laughs> execution yeah, filmed on camera of a Trump supporter. But yeah, whatever. Everything's fine. Mostly peaceful, says CNN. Uh, Elite Squad, which came out uh, on iOS and Android earlier this week, begins with a narrated video laying out the game's premise, which paints protest movements as fronts for an organization called Umbra, a global bad guy network trying to take over the world. Hmm. Protesters, quote, claim to promote an egalitarian utopia to gain popular support. Well, behind the scenes, Umbra organizers uh, organizes deadly bad attacks to generate even more chaos and weaken governments. Oh. So, where's the, where's the, where's the, I mean, it's a video game. Obviously, we could start there. It's a fictional video game, but I mean, I, I feel like that's starting on level eight. We need to go on level one here. Now, I don't know if they just didn't upgrade, uh, upload this video because the only actual video uh, I could find is like these like independent upgrades or uploads of the original. Um, now they've since censored it. But, uh, you know, if we, let's take a look. Let's take a look how, how, uh, how this is definitely exactly about BLM. Not, not incorrect. Wars, corruption, and poverty have made it more unstable than ever. Also true. As the situation keeps worsening, anger is brewing. Yep. From between the cracks, a new threat has emerged to take advantage of escalating civil unrest. They are known as Umbra, a faceless organization that wants to build a new world order. <laughs> so this is it. This is it. This is the this is what got everybody triggered online. The race fist has a long history, including anti-racism movements that have once been have been central symbols of the BLM protests. Uh, blah blah blah. Imagery appeared. So then they this is opening leans into an alt-right conspiracies around BLM and other justice movements, which cast them as fronts for shadow organizations trying to destabilize world governments. I mean, how many video games are we going to have to go back and remove? I mean, this this concept, this concept of like evil overlord, you know, organization looking for world domination. I mean, are we going to get rid of Pinky in the Brain? Um, G.I. Joe, uh, you know, there's been innumerable uh, uh, tropes or video games that's not, you know, there's been numerous storylines that involve some shadowy figures that want to take over the world. How about Austin Powers? Should we get rid of that? This is just being incredibly sensitive. And by the way, who knows when this trailer was even made? It was probably made before uh, all of this stuff going on. Uh, but Ubisoft uh, uh, apologized, of course. Elite Squad's release comes less than three months after they called the systemic racism faced by black people deeply disturbing and donated $100,000 to the NAACP and BLM, which also arrives amid renewed protests. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Elite Squad was developed by a French studio, Alliant, which is based in Paris and focuses on mobile gaming. Acquired by Ubisoft in 2011, its biggest previous games was a horse breeding simulator called Horse. The studio is now co-managed by Charlie Guillermo and Remy Pellerin, the latter of whom Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillermo's son, according to two familiar sources. While Elite Squad was shown off last month at Ubisoft's Bigs Forward press conference, it looked like a cartoony free-to-play tactics game. A narrative designer who said, uh, who did the contract work on the game, tweeted out earlier today that Umbra had been presented to him as a James Bond-esque villain. Of course, not something that sounds straight out of a conspiracy post. On YouTube, representatives of Elite Squad's development team called any resemblance to the BLM matter in the game's opening coincidental. Of course it was. Um, Tom Clancy's Elite Squad is a work of fiction and does not portray any real-world events. No! Don't break their narrative! Everything is real life! If it's in a video game, it must be speaking to, right now, today's political events. I mean, especially if it's a AAA title. Are there indie titles out there that are literally that way? Yeah, there are. But when you're talking about AAA titles... It's just bad business to, to, to come out, and this would be awfully good planning uh, because basically everything's kicked up in the last three or four months. I'm sure this game's been in development for years. The game's YouTube account wrote in the comment, however, we have listened to players and pointed out similarities to avoid confusion. We've decided to modify the trailer in the next update. Pathetic. And now they've had to issue a second apology stating, Imagery that appeared in the opening video game sequence of Tom Clancy's Elite Squad featuring a raised fist was insensitive and harmful in both in its inclusion and how it was portrayed. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Who who was who was harmed by it? Like literally, I want to know. The brand? We have listened and to and appreciate the players and a broader community have pointed out and we apologize. The raised fist imagery will be removed in the next title update this Tuesday, September 1st on Android and as soon as possible on iOS. And here's what happens. Uh, you know, you look at the apologies or the replies to the apology and you get exactly why I say it's never worth apologizing. Um, you can see... Here's somebody with a raised fist uh, icon or uh, avatar. The more they try damage control, the more suspect I think they are. Yeah, Ubisoft was secretly trying to red pill every, a super multinational corporation uh, that makes children's video games was secretly trying to red pill everyone. You could see Stefano here saying, uh, honestly, these people are not gamers. Real gamers play the game, enjoy the stories. Those people just politicize everything, and now they're entering into gaming. It's sad. I mean, ah, yes, the very non-political nature of Czech's trailer, a political movement opposed by governments for political reasons. This is all full of, um, you know, you see Ubisoft. What about the harmful part? You know, the rest of the game. So what, they're demanding... Um, not only an apology, but to just delete and remove the entire game. Oh, there's no way this is going to be trending after I finish this video. What about apologizing for flirting with the right alt-right this time? Flirting, it's just about oral at this point, says a, um, I don't know, more anime avatars. Let's see, BDS, BLM, ACAB. Oh, okay, so you're a totally unbiased third party. The entire storyline is problematic. This is absolute bare minimum. So they're, this is what's happening. They're demanding. They're demanding now that they remove the game entirely. Why? Just don't play it. I mean, it's so simple. Again, it's not the imagery that's harmful. It's the entire concept of the game. It'd be insensitive and harmful anyway. But you're also at especially poor timing, inciting hatred towards protesters who are thinly veiled allegory for BLM when there are people suffering IRL right now. Sent from a $900 iPhone, pronouns in the bio. I mean, are you joking? 
This is insanity. This is an entire company. This company donated a hundred grand to your to your political cause. Okay, uh, a, a fine a fine place to be. But uh, you know, the raised fist is a here you could say via U Wikipedia. The raised fist or clenched fist is a universal symbol of revolution. It also symbolizes solidarity and support. Even Wikipedia. Even Wikipedia doesn't give BLM credit for the raised fist, which has probably been around since the 1500s. I think this one comment summed it up pretty well. This is what a narrative written from a fascist perspective would look like. So before this blows up, I really want to lay out in detail how much basically intentional or not what a game written from a fascist perspective looks like. It begins with an acknowledgement that there are problems in the world, but there are less uh, or uh, but more or less glazes over what those problems are and save for a generic hand waving about poverty and corruption. Umbra is basically whatever evil forces you want it to be. Jews? Sure. Brown people? Sure. What about white people? Oh, did you, did you just skip that one? <laughs> These people, uh, uh, I think gaming would be far better off uh, if these little political activists would go on, hey, get out there and mobilize. Get out there and go door to door in your neighborhoods and, uh, and, and activate the vote. Get people to go register to vote. Inform them. Print out pam pamphlets. Oh, oh, no, you don't want to do any actual work? You just want to sit on Twitter and, and whine about video games? Oh, okay, well, I suppose. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.